There's Mr. Rops. And Mrs. Flynn. And we are here to do a problem with optimization. And so with this problem, we're given a piece of cardboard with dimensions six by eight centimeters. And four squares are cut out. And we're going to find the corners are folded up. And a box with no top is created. So to get the sense of what it looks like. So here's our box. And if we look, we have a length of this eight. Is eight here, which is shown by eight. And then a width of six. Which is this distance And there. each one of those red squares are a box taken out. And those for now would just be, we'd call those length x. Right, but so x by x. Okay. And so if we fold up, fold these up and get rid of these red squares, we get the box that's over here. And so if I... Let's go ahead and just explore a little bit with different sizes of x. Right. So if I change the size of x, I get different size box. This is, I get a really small x, I get a really thin box, or I can make boxes that are really tall and skinny. Really tall and skinny. Yeah. So which one's going to give us the largest volume? That's the main question here. Right. And so this point G that's over here is tracing out the volume. And so we're looking for a volume that's up around here somewhere to the maximum. It's going to be somewhere around 1. And we have to use calculus to find out that scenario. And we can do that. We know how to solve for maximums. Exactly. So here we go. It says make an expression for the volume in terms of x. All right, so if we have our box, and in our box we have a length of 8. All right. And Here's we eight. have little box or squares, I guess, cut out. And these are all x's that have been cut, cut, cut. So now, if we have a new length, right. that total new length would be 8 minus 2x. Right. And as we know, volume of a box is length times width times height. All right. And so this length is simply 8 minus 2x. Now we have to find the width. The width, well... If I look, cut out the corner here, this was the 6, cutting out the x, this would be the width, which is 6 minus the 2x. So same process. Same process, 6 minus 2x. Now times it by the height. Which is just x. And okay. so here is our volume. Let's multiply this out. So we'll go through, I get 48, let's put it in parentheses. Uh, minus 16, oh, 16x minus 12x plus a 4x squared. I'll multiply it by x. And if we put it all together, and I'll put the four, order of exponents. All right, I go 4x cubed minus 28x squared plus 48. So this is a part completed, an expression for volume of the box in terms of x. Now volume is a function of x, v of x. Right, part b. Use calculus to find the max volume of the box and the dimensions. And the dimensions. <laughs> right. So the maximum, or optimizations, that's first derivative. We yeah. want to find a maximum. So for the first derivative, we... Differentiate. Yep. We get... 12x squared minus 56x plus 48. Okay, so now we just have to, if we want a maximum, we need to make this equal to 0, and we yeah. have to solve that. That'll solve for our critical points. So if we want to make it easier, we could factor out a, tw a uh, 4 a maybe. Four, that's, okay, we'll put the 4. Yeah. And so it's a 3x squared minus 14 x mm -hmm. plus 12 equal to 0. Okay, instead of trying to figure out how to factor that, let's just do this quickly by putting it right. into our graphing calculator. Which we've already worked ahead. There's our equation. We graph it. And so we have two zeros here. One here and here. Let's find them. I go second, trace my 0. My left bound, 0. Right bound, let's say it's 2. One. So I get 1.31. Okay. So x equals 1.31. The okay. three significant figures. 
Next one. Next one. We're going to go second trace. Zero. Uh, left bound, let's say two. Four, maybe. Four. One, two, three, four. And it gets a three. And so the other one is x equals, oh, 3.5. Do you see Four, I think. A four, we think. Okay. So there are x values. So what does that mean? Well, this is what is going to make this box have a maximum or a minimum volume. And if we look over here, let's talk about this is my x cut here. If I just look at this, it looks like the maximum is going to be like one point something. Well, what's that 3 talking about? If we look at 3.54, here's my, my x that's getting larger. And now it is, oh, stop. It's over the 3.67. It crossed down here, which doesn't make any sense to have a negative volume. So that 3.5 must have been a minimum. Yeah, so if, even though that minimum exists, it doesn't, doesn't seem to make much sense because if this distance here is 6, I can't cut out 3.5 from one side and 3.5 from the other side because that's more than 6. So the domain of this volume function really is up to 3, from 0 to 3. Yep. So that means I can ignore, I can ignore this value. Okay. And so to answer my maximum volume, well, if I want to find the maximum volume, I plug in v, or x into v, 1.31. And let's get, do we have the, I we wish could I would do trace in 1.31, right? Oh, right. Because I was hoping to get the next decimal so that we could make sure the final answer was good to uh, three yeah, significant figures. Best. But since we lost it, let's just ignore that for now. So I get 4, 1.31 cubed, and minus 28. 1.31 squared plus 48. Oh, my handwriting is atrocious today. No, it's not. Okay, and so we're going to do that calculation. Now we definitely need help with that. Uh, Can't you just hit trace and then... Oh, that's the derivative that we have in here. Oh, that's the derivative. So, 4 times 1.31 to the power of 3 minus 28 times 1.31 to the power of 2 plus 48 times 1.31 equals, so my maximum volume is 23.82. So Max <laughs> volume. Oh, my pen is doing funny things. Is what did I just say? Twenty three point eight two. Twenty three point point eight. So three decimal places, and this is centimeters cubed. Don't lose your unit point. So the dimensions of the box. So now that's what we're doing it as. Right. So the length is going to be. 8 minus 2 times 1.31. The width will be 6 minus 2, 1.31. And the height is just the 1.31 centimeters. This one you should find, centimeters. And that one you can do as well, centimeters. I think we've answered everything. All right, that's it for now.